Hey guys, what's up? This is Nate here back with another iOS 6 demo video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at iCloud Tabs, which is a new feature in Safari. So iCloud Tabs can be opened up by selecting the Cloud button right here on the iPad. And then if you open up the Bookmarks menu right here on the iPhone, that you'll see the iCloud Tabs folder right here. Uh, so what you're seeing right now is what web pages I have open on my iPhone and my iPad. So right here on the iPad, you'll see it says, on my iPhone, I have Apple.com opened up. So if we head back out of here, you, you will see that I do, in fact, have Apple.com open. And then if we head back here on the iPhone, you'll see it says I have Amazon opened up on my iPad, and you'll see that I do have that open right here. This also then works for the Mac and whatever, and you can have multiple tabs open as well. So if I opened up another web page over here, let's just say we go to YouTube.com, uh, eventually that should show up here on the iPhone as well. And if I do the same thing on the iPhone and we go to, let's just say, uh, Engadget or, or ESPN, let's go there. And we'll go ahead and open up the iCloud tabs menus again. Now you might see here that the web pages haven't been uh, added here yet and I think the reason for that is this is still a beta it's not uh, really been too optimized that well yet but it does work uh, I have noticed that there's about a two to three minute delay uh, but nonetheless you guys get the point of this feature so after about five minutes or so these iCloud tabs list did finally update uh, to reflect those new web pages that I opened on each of these devices and I definitely think that we will see this uh, time gap shrink as we see future vil future builds of iOS 6 because you have to remember this is the first developer preview that Apple has released thus far and there'll be a lot of bug fixes as we get closer and closer to the fall time frame for the public release uh, but I really do like the idea behind this feature because for instance I could begin reading an article on my Mac in the morning and then as I leave uh, later in the day I could continue reading that article on my iPhone or iPad without any additional effort on my part so I hope you guys understand the feature from this video I may revisit it in a future video as we see this feature get more optimized so uh, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this feature and I will see you guys in the next video.